Hey guys, um, I'm just jumping on really quickly because I've had a couple of people ask me recently about trimming nail art brushes. Um, so this is the brush I had been using for a really long time. I've been using it for about three or four years. Um, it's just a brush that I got in the art and hobby shop. It wasn't expensive. It was about three or four euro a long time ago and it's done me for years, but over from overuse, I suppose, the bristles are all starting to kind of separate and come away from each other now. So I needed a new brush um, and I was putting it off for ages because I love my brush and it has been through many sets of nails with me. Um, and this is the brush I use for hand painting with acrylic. Um, I also use it if I'm doing any hand painting with gel as well, I would use the same brush. So last week I bought this little guy and I have done a couple of sets with him, um, just as he is, but there is too many bristles in him. So if you have a little look, you can see, let me just compare the two of them. And you see the difference in how many bristles there are? They're the same length, um, but there's just too many bristles in the little blue brush. So I'm just going to chop off a few bristles and literally just show you how I do it. Um, so little nail scissors. Got my little brush. So what you're gonna do, you're not gonna come along, you're never gonna cut your brush from like here down unless there's like a stray hair that you need to chop off. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your scissors and you're gonna scoop some of your hairs out to the side. Okay. Just a few at a time. And you're gonna give it A little snip. Okay, and I'm going to spin it around a little bit then, and I'm going to take some from the other side, just a few, and snip. And I'm going to do the same again, spin the brush a little bit, scoop out another few, and I'm going to do that all the way around. So that it's kind of the hairs on the outside of the brush that I'm taking. And then you're going to give it a little spin around, make sure there's none kind of loose that are poking out anywhere. Any misbehaving. And I'm going to leave it at that for today and I'm going to use him now, see how I get on with him and then if I need to thin him out anymore I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. Um, so we're going to go with him today, see how we get on. If he's still too thick again I'm going to do exactly the same thing again, spin him around, chop two or three hairs off um, all the way around and then see how we get on. But I'd say he is probably fine there now. Cool. Well, thank you for watching.